Hi Scorpios, welcome. So before anything, happy birthday to you guys. I wish every single one of you an amazing day and just amazing birth month in general in the Scorpio season. You guys, um, I have a lot of Scorpios surrounding me and uh, in my family. So for every single one of you guys, happy birthday as well. Uh, also, feel free to leave your birthday if you want to down here in the comment section because I love to wish you guys happy birthday personally. And um, I t I'm still trying to catch up on the Libras actually because that was like over 450. So <laughs> I'm going to keep trying catching up on that one. Um, but yeah, what I got when I was meditating on your energy that you guys have this longing sort of like feeling that the situation is okay and you're happy but then there's this whole other side of you that's really feeling this urge to like okay um, is there more to my life like is there more can i can i do something new or you know it's like it's this longing that's growing and growing and i feel that of course your birthday season so think outside the box and go after uh what makes you feel good this month and just do things that are spontaneous and as much as possible right so I'm not gonna do an intense long intro for you guys I'm just gonna start shuffling this deck and I'm gonna get a card for you guys from this angel mess messages me messages deck wow that's a really hard word apparently from Dorian Virgil so I got two of course it's your birthday you guys get two <laughs> review which is exactly what i was picking up on review and contemplation and then you have embraced the, those ones around you so i'm gonna read them for you guys you've accomplished a great deal in life and you have much to be proud of now it's time to decide what is next as you contemplate the past and the present you'll get clear on your divine life purpose don't be distracted by conventional thinking be the real you. Wow, that's very powerful, Scorpio. So, what is a better time than your own birthday season to be the real you? To the real you. So, you kind of have to contemplate and just um, go within for that. Because getting out of the mind into the heart, I'm feeling... To just really like, what is in there? What's that longing? What is that that is sort of, you know, is that a move? Do you want to move to a new city? Or is it, you know, getting a different apartment in the same neighborhood? I don't know. Maybe you would like to buy something, you know, something different. Maybe you want to learn how to ride a motorcycle or something like that. Like, what is, what is that longing? What is that excitement thing that will get you... Um, excited about things again right so powerful message be the real you well that's powerful okay embrace those around you this is a time of great spiritual growth for you making it even more important to surround yourself with those who love you and share your beliefs be willing to accept help from others you could find comfort in traditional solutions or your heart may long to try out new ideas. Wow, that's like something something similar again. So they're really they already came they already came to me while I was meditating and then it shows up in two different cards. It's really like trying all things in new ways or letting your heart decide which way you're gonna go with things and also be willing to accept help from others so maybe you're planning this birthday party or something like that or maybe you want to keep it really small but maybe other people would like to uh, organize something for you it's like accept those help from others and those ideas from others as well like an input i feel so surround yourself with those you love surround yourself yourself with people that are in alignment with your spiritual growth whether as family or a really good friend or maybe something somebody you don't know that well but have really like similar energy right now in this moment in time and you can really connect with that person so maybe that person can help you move forward spiritually so that's really what the angels are sharing with you right now at this time so Let's get into the tarot deck over here. Make a little bit 
bit more space. So, okay. Putting in our energy. We do not need the tower to fall out already, okay? <laughs> Can we get three shuffles out of it at least? What is com coming up for Scorpio during Scorpio season? And of course, the full month of November. Scorpio. Scorpio for the month of November. Wow, I know which card it is. It's you. <laughs> wow, Scorpio, that's so powerful. Look at you coming up as a first card in your own reading. You're gonna be the ruler this month. People better watch out for the Scorpio energy. This is powerful. There's nobody ignoring you. There's nobody getting around your energy. It's everybody, all the zodiac, I'm, I mean all the zodiac signs, all the other 11 are calling out on their BS. Things that they have hidden, things that they have run away from. It is Scorpio showing up in your front door and saying, listen, what are you hiding in here? <laughs> Show me. Let's talk. You know, it's really that like confrontational energy, which is really good because it's help. It's helping everybody forward. Like I said, there's no escaping your energy. Good. So filling in your element, you're gonna feel really in alignment with self this month. It's really good, and embrace that as well, Scorpios. Embrace it. You see. They have to face the fears. You guys are tamming the lion. Could be dealing with a Leo, but I don't want to pin it too much down like on a, on a sun sign or on a moon rising. It's just what it represents is really like, let's look at this mess, you know, let's look at this closet. What's in there? Is it something that has been building up in the mind to just go over and over details that are not clear and then making them bigger than they are and then they become this problem and then you get anxious and then you get anxiety and then you can't sleep and then you don't know how to put it in words and then at one point you just feel yourself numb. So that cycle. And this is really, like this is something that is really uh, a Scorpio trait. You know, it's not, I'm not, I'm not judging this at all. I'm just saying like it's Scorpio trait to hold things within and not really share it. And then having all these fears growing in your mind. And at one point you just can't sleep. It's like keeping you up at night. You're like, you don't know how to make sense of it. And I feel that that is powerful because it fell right with the strength card. Meaning that that is clearing up. Like I said, everybody's call is getting called out on their BS. Like everything is just showing up and revealing itself as is. And it's really, it really is. It really is. It's also what they say in this card, right? Is uh, you can find comfort in traditional solutions. And um, I'm sorry. Something to say here, yeah. Don't be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. It's really like coming from the heart instead of that mind, you know, where the fear gets created. And just being really clear about that. So tell me what's going on outside the mind. Three of Wands. Showing up a lot this, this month. Waiting for the ships to come in. But before you can, but this is like a next step thing. Because two of ones, like, okay, let's see, what, what, do, what are we creating? What do we want? Where do we, where do we want to go? What do we want? Wow. This felt right on your card, the world card. It's time for a change. Like I said, right? 
that planning of the two of wands, like, okay, what are we going to do? Where do we want to go? And then we have this plan and now we're just waiting for things to come in, you know, and being patient and knowing that it's coming in. You get your ships coming in this month. Something is clearing up some question. So you're getting some answers. Or you're getting really a chance and a shot to move on. Maybe even literally, maybe you're getting that house or that move. Eight of Pentacles. Good. Yeah, I'm seeing you executing things this month. It's like really like, okay, I've been on my mind for a couple months now. I think I'm ready to put this into action. Working. It really is, it's, it really is it's like that energy of like, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try this. I'm going to do that instead of, but what if this goes wrong or what it takes that, that thinking energy. It's really like that doing, like just executing things. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio for the month of November. What do you want to want them to know? What do we need to look at? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Seven of Cups. Scorpio. Yeah. Bum. Birthday presents. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to get some more clarifies on that one. I have to sit differently. Oh, yes. Because my back is a little sore. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. No, it's too much. Scorpio. Feeling like this month is is it's sort of like trying to keep a balance between the right thing to do and the fun thing to do, right? And trying to find a balance in that. It's like okay, um, I'm seeing in <laughs> I'm seeing you sort of struggling in like okay, I really want to go here, but I kind of also have to get up early. So am I going to do this or that or am I going to make a sacrifice or maybe a compromise and then do both? You know, I'm seeing that you're trying to refine a new balance between actually um, having fun and also taking your responsibilities. Because building up an empire and something is also part of your needs, right? It's like you need that, your soul needs that. So it's not just like it, you have to do it. It's also part of very important. Like if you put a Scorpio home and you can't do anything or just, you know, build anything, it's not good for the soul, for the Scorpio. It's not, this is just, it's killing. Okay. They want me to read these cards. Six of Cups. And the magician. So I'm feeling that you have the power this month to bring things back together, to reconcile with people, yes, but also reconcile people with each other. I'm feeling like you have like this bonding energy this month of, um, I'm sorry, camera issues, okay? <laughs> um, like I was saying, like making sure that people get along. But what I also really feel is that you're finding it hard to make a decision between, okay, am I going to do things in the old way or am I going to manifest new things in my life 
what is this? I'm going to go for this relationship that I, I know and this person that I know. Or am I going to move to something completely different and I'm going to end this chapter? I'm feeling that there's some uncertainty about that. Um, but the most happiness will be found in something solid, I'm hearing. Like... It's some you need an offer to be solid. You need an offer to be um, be real and not just a couple of illusions or a couple of confusement. I'm hearing like I don't know why, but that's really what I'm picking up on. It's like you want instead of offers like this, like you have no idea what's actually in the cup. You want something is offered like this, right? It's just like. Okay, I'm here. I'm here to stay. I'm here to build you this. I want this amount of kids. I want to marry you. I want to like is that solid offer. And I'm seeing you trying to find find a balance, but you're gonna do that naturally. Like you're gonna pick up on that. Like it's the right answer will come to you. And that's really what I show me, like the six of cups and um, the magicians, the magician stands for, okay, I'm going to create something completely new and it's going to be based on, on other things, you know, and, and, and another side of me, like this relationship has been, been based on this or that. And I, I no longer am defining myself as that type of person in a relationship. I would like to be um, more myself and more authentically myself or being less uh, the, or not the one that always makes sure every every detail is checked on and and everything is rearranged I would like for someone else to have that sort of the, like that role in the relationship more than me and I'm just so used to being in a relationship that it has always been on my side and my part of the relationship so my part of responsibilities I'm hearing so there's so much going on right now. Like I'm getting downloads after downloads. Like <laughs> I don't even have time to breathe. Okay. <laughs> anyway, feeling that people will want to celebrate with you this month. They're gonna come. They're gonna show up. Um, and there's this 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 beautiful birthday gift and. It reminds you of something I'm hearing. So what they're constantly saying to you is like, listen, Scorpio, develop that, like follow that. Like you get all these tools to create something new. What is more in alignment with your spiritual truth? Maybe it's a little risky. Maybe it's a little risky, you know, like maybe it's not always necessarily based on everything that's stable and everything but it might even fall apart in something that makes you feel like you're actually taking part of on like taking a part in life you know like every day is sort of a little different and it's it, it's you showing up and it's it's a result of your energy and, and i don't know like you're you're building something scorpio so very important month this all energy coming out of so it's it's not like i'm i'm gonna have to give you a heads up of the the lonely nights and the days and the, no it's not it's really like okay listen we're ready to manifest over here like let's go right things that weren't clear will clear up things that offers that were uncertain now show up as something really serious or it will show itself for what it exactly is and then you can choose whether you want that or not and it's decision making time which is good for you guys you guys like to know you know what's coming up okay scorpio scorpio it's for the month of november show me something what's coming after the magician yeah, you see, ten of swords and four of wands. So yeah, we can focus on um, the ten of swords, but that's exactly what is over. You know, it's. I'm hearing it's game over, but it's putting down the swords and. 
approaching things in a new way, in a new light, because it came up with the Four of Wands. And I'm getting for some of you guys, this is really for a small group, but I, I have to speak about this. It's like after the ending, like after the ending has taken place, right? And and a relationship is over or a marriage or something and you move out of it. You got it. You have the choice how you look at things. You do. You can look at the things that the expectations you have of it and the things that didn't happen and or the, the all the bad things that did happen or the lies and the deceit and things like that. Maybe there wasn't even that, but it's just a hurt of something leaving your life. But you also have the opportunity to look at it from a different lighting. And I'm seeing that you are tapping into both ways. It's really either one or the other. You can face it, you can embrace it, and you can see for things for what they are, or you can get in the mind and you know overthink things. And it normally, when an energy is too heavy, you guys don't even have an option. It will keep you up at night, you know? But this this energy is really like, okay, we got both for you. You can pick and choose, Scorpio. It's it's one or the other. You know, it's it's both here for you to. The situation is not going to be different because it's a situation in the past. But what I want, that's really the universe. Like what I want from you is to um, let it empower you instead of burning you out or or bringing you down. Like embrace it, embrace the lessons, and feel empowered by it it's like i overcame this really you have overcame it and it, it's you're coming out as the winner over here okay like look at that look at that so if there has been trouble and issues in home life and stuff it's reconciliation you know it's like okay let's talk about this and let's give this another shot and this person is coming up as pretty serious. Like if somebody's coming back for a second chance or, you know, want to make things good with you again, that person really wants this. Like really wants this and really wants that. You know, because he or she is coming up as the the king of pentacles, which is no joke. That's not a joke or like the, you know, the pace of cups. It's like, oh, I have these feelings. <laughs> yeah feelings fun let's you know i don't know like uh let's have a fun day together it's like you know that it's it's a fun playful energy but it's nothing serious nothing concrete and um, this is really a stable energy and the ten of swords a completion you see it's a nine of swords and it's a ten of swords completion is end of cycle we have here the world card we have you the death cards also transformation and endings and transformation so good good month really really good month really important month most definitely also when you're like two weeks before and after your birthday like or in front of your birthday and on your birthday you get really lucky so I don't know if it's something you do or not, but maybe you get a ticket for something or, I don't know, try to go to the casino once or something, if that's something you like to do now and then, not if that's something you do on a daily, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, five of wands. It's just good because that's that's showing up as a minor conflict right and then we have the Aries cards which is also very empowering energy let me see why is this here tree of pentacles and a nine of cups so they're giving you a heads up when it comes to work could be that you have you have a some struggle with um with your boss, with the person that's in, you know, holds like that title or something. I don't know. Is that a little bit above you when it comes to titles? Um, you have a little issue with the way they, they, they approach you. But 
you will definitely come out as a winner in that one and also it could be that at work you have some healthy competition going on you know people are sort of going for the same job or something but i see you overcoming that and coming out as a winner as well so that will go in your favor which they just want me to to say that to some of you guys so overall great month we've got great things going on and i'm just really excited for this energy over here like you know good yes okay scorpio that's it for you guys for this month i hope you have an amazing time on your birthday and um yeah let me know how it was okay <laughs> bye i love you guys bye